Okay, welcome everyone. Episode 21, Talking Back Sunday. We are here with Woo. Garrett, Dallas, Ryan, and Derek. Red City Radio, their new record, Paradise. Yeah. Just came out December 4th. Fantastic. The vinyl's too big for me to show in this little frame. Yeah. And it's too good to Sean listen to. Copy. He's not supposed to have a yeah. copy of that. <laughs> Where did you get that? I ordered it like a gentleman. I love you guys. Oh. I got the hoodie Hi. and everything. But did you listen to it? Like five times on the vinyl. We've been listening to it for months in my house. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah there, there's, there's, I, uh, I've been listening to it a lot since Friday, since it came out on Friday, and it's fantastic. And Garrett, I actually sent you a text because you have that Mitch Hedberg reference and uh is it edmund girls that's right yeah 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 and that man when i heard that i just lit up uh it just made me so happy but the whole thing is just so great there's i really love your de your delivery the whole the whole thing you guys are playing all the notes <laughs> Come on, not all dallas the not all the notes. Dal dallas you're hitting all the things it's it's fantastic you got the things <laughs> <laughs> appreciate the kind of words it is we really do yeah yeah we mean it yeah mitch hedberg <clears throat> performed in edmond oklahoma like i think it was either the year before he died or the year he passed away and uh you know i'm we all love that comedian for sure but he was definitely my favorite in high school when i was going to high school in edmond <laughs> yeah man. uh for edmond santa fe is where i went uh where also mike kennedy from all american rejects went as well I, oh. I actually tried to get into that Mitch Hedberg show and it was sold out and I was standing outside and someone went in and I just happened to see him standing there facing the audience and he just kind of went, whoa, I'm facing the wrong way. And then the door closed <laughs> and that's all, I, that's all I got to see. That's awesome. <laughs> nice. That is awesome. So, uh, so what have you guys been up to? Anything great? and uh and uh, amazing we we've, we've we've all been up to really cool shit so yeah, how about you guys tons of rad stuff <laughs> <laughs> just, just you know all the cool stuff you know like doing nothing yeah derek you've mm -hmm. been watching it sunsets all. right i was about to say that's not true yeah. derek's been doing awesome hikes uh, and sunsets yeah that's basically all i do now i just hike ryan goes on hikes with me you know that uh -huh. i like <laughs> You like to do a like DoorDash roulette and just like don't look at your phone or just thumb through the options and just pick one looking away and then that's what you're ordering in for the night. <laughs> <laughs> just see what shows like, up and then eat it. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll eat the shit. And then you <laughs> have to eat it. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been exploring uh, Alberta. I live in Al uh, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And it's gorgeous. The sunsets here are gnarly. It happens at like four o'clock every day. But I, I've, I've been trying this new thing where um, last week I went to a, a cabin with no electricity or running water. And oh, it, was, wow. it was freezing cold. And I took some acid and I drank 20 beers and I fucking partied by myself for a day. It was amazing. That's yeah, nice. Yeah, that was, was really cool. Really it was awesome. You're all welcome to fucking come hang with me in the freezing cold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I... Yeah, no, it's like 70 degrees here. I'm good. That's beautiful. Mm, I, I, I like how you had specifically 20 beers. That's all I brought yeah. with me, unfortunately. I could have had oh. more. I mean, I'm not a big <laughs> counter, you know. Y'all know that. I, I like to give up at around two. Four. Four, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, whatever. <laughs> numbers numbers are irrelevant. But uh, but that's all I brought. And and it's kind of funny because you, you realize things about yourself when you're alone and, and solitude and isolation. And what I realized about myself is that I can drink more than 20 beers. <laughs> <laughs> but who's keeping track? Yeah, I mean, not gone? me. No, no. Man, I mean, I, I did that. before I did before I got drunk, to be honest with you. I, I was doing an inventory of 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 my things, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I have, you're like, if I, I make one it through the day. Brush, 20 beers. 24 packs. So you drink yeah. four of them on, on the drive out there. <laughs> <laughs> there, there there's weight so how far is that place away from where you're living are you living out like in the like in the sticks no i live in the city i live in the i live in like the haunted part of the city actually like the new ghostbusters movie that's going to come out was filmed in my neighborhood and uh oh wow 
Yeah, and there's like, and uh, my partner uh, just made like this really cool haunted tour for Halloween that we went on. We just walked across around the city and went to all the haunted places. It was awesome. Right. But uh, the place I was talking about, it's only 45 minutes away from where I live, though. So it's like a quick drive. And of course, nobody wants to stay there in the wintertime. So <laughs> I'm just I'm just I'm just driving up there fifty dollars a night, taking an acid at this person's cabin. Uh, but I've gone to a couple different Airbnbs that are insane. They're just beautiful up here, man. The mountains and like uh, in Jasper and Banff, it's it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, been trying to trying to pull a Derek and take advantage of the beautiful natural surroundings. Yo, how many uh, how many how many hits of acid did you take since I've been in Canada? No, <laughs> no, <laughs> just that one night. You know, honestly, honestly, man, just. <laughs> <laughs> just oh, just the one because it's really powerful uh okay. it's, it's got this it's got a unicorn on it and it's uh -huh. it's not to be tread lightly it's something you have to appreciate <laughs> okay yeah you got to respect it i timed it I, I did it exactly at a 1 p.m and then i timed it to like go with the sunset and then into the night and then because it gets dark and then the moon starts creeping up and it was a full moon when I was doing it. And Is it was that just what like, happens? <laughs> <laughs> well, right. Is that what happens at that time? <laughs> well, you know, you know, sometimes you see the sun and the moon at the same time. Sometimes it's like it comes it's right after in Canada. It's different. It's different. Yeah, everything's yeah. different here. Everything is different. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like completely black for like an hour and then like a giant moon over the fucking city. You know what I mean? And it was probably the acid. <laughs> Starts running and frolicking through the open field like he's a unicorn under the full moon, just howling his ass off. Bro, I would if it wasn't like fucking zero degrees here. Oh, that's right. It's freezing already, huh? Yeah. Well, they have a whole <laughs> different system of, of degrees that I have to figure Celsius. out. <laughs> well, from 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 touring, I like think like 20, isn't it like 20 degrees Celsius is like 70 or like 72 Fahrenheit? Sure. Yeah. yeah yeah fucking yeah, yeah, sure yeah. okay great <laughs> fucking right, yeah. that, that's always fun when you, when you go uh and you have to figure that out in your hotel room in like england or, or europe or something just like i uh, 25 degrees that seems i like it 19 is that cold 19 is that cold? i don't even know <laughs> you know we're america is the only country who does that in the yeah uh, we're a the, stupid dumb yeah. dumb <laughs> and the reason why, apparently, is because there was a king that was like, all right, everybody measure everything by your foot. And so it's like an arbitrary, like, measurement. Wow. It's like, with Celsius, I'm going to show how stupid I am. Isn't zero freezing and 100 boiling? Like, it's pretty simple. Yeah, so. that's exactly yeah. what's right. <laughs> so I'm trying to do what, what Adam's doing. I'm trying to just, ground, like... Though. Yeah, right. And every time I look, dude, it's math. I'm like, fuck you. So I'm trying to like spitball both of them together. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. It, like, oh, it's yeah, 20. It's, it's about right. 70. Cool, man. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, so you're making it up, is what you're saying. You're yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. He has his own set of temperature gauges. It's all different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what I really should do. I should do my own measure. Yeah. A temperature yeah. connoisseur. <laughs> There's your title. <laughs> What if, what if, what if, do people who love dinosaurs are they dinosaur enthusiasts or dinosaur connoisseurs? I, uh, I think they're archaeologists. Rex? Oh, they're archaeologists. Yeah, anyway. well, <laughs> I, think the, I think the difference is paleontologists. Likes, paleontologists, sorry. That's right. One just yeah. likes dinosaurs and a connoisseur likes fine dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, a, I'm an appreciator of fine dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay, you bullshit. <laughs> dinosaur sipping a martini glass. <laughs> a little mustache. Looking Did they have martinis back art. then? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, they've been around forever. Yeah. Cool. Literally forever. <laughs> we found the martini. The martini, you know what I mean? Like it was there and we just found it. We didn't like think of it. Yeah. yeah. Discovered. Discovered. It's just the something that's just always that just is and has always been. Is what we're saying, and I'm I'm happy for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, same here, same. So, so what? Uh, so what brought you up to Canada by way of Oklahoma? The same thing that takes me anywhere. Love my dumb oh. heart. 
Uh, oh, well, I, my, my eventual plan was to move to Canada. Um, and then COVID happened and my partner was alone up here in an apartment. And I was actually up here visiting in March when the COVID happened and we discussed, and we we're like, fuck it. And I just didn't fly back. And, uh, long story short, I, you know, we got a, this really cool house in uh, June and we've been living here. Nice. Awesome. Nice. Nice man, that sounds really awesome. True COVID love story. True yeah, COVID um, love story. Well, that could go horribly <laughs> wrong too, you know. I'm glad it's sure. going well. Mark. Yeah, no kidding, right? But um, no, it's fantastic. Uh, I love it up here. Uh, I love her. I love the whole thing, man. It's groovy. I can't wait to get back to traveling again. That's when everything is going to be a perfect one o one o one. But uh, <laughs> but it's all groovy, man. Uh, I'm I'm very I'm very happy. Very happy with it. Nice. Again. That's wonderful. Thank you. Nice. Cool. Very cool. Just gonna get me out of here. Help me! Help me! Help me! I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with it. No, it's fucking. It's fucking groovy though. Blink twice if you need to be saved. No. Oh, like, like the Britney Spears thing, right? Yeah. If you see me start yeah. po- posting weird dance videos, you know, start start emailing me. Yeah, if you burn down your gym with candles, <laughs> we'll send help. Is that what Yo, happens? I've, was- I've never in my life been a bigger Britney Spears fan than I am now. That's really? so cool. Amen. Yo, it Go is on. cool. Go on. And, and I recommend everyone follow her on Instagram because it's fucking crazy. It's the best Instagram. It's my favorite Instagram. Mm-hmm. It's oh yeah. So, how's your music? I, I, I there's no music. It's just <laughs> it's just her doing really wacky shit, like really wacky. What kind of stuff does I she mean. put up? What does she do? It looks to me Tell like us. she shoots shoots up a fat dose dose of meth and then just goes. <laughs> okay, don't go. Don't go. Don't go. You had me a fat dose of meth. <laughs> it, and it's amazing. I, I don't. I'm not sure if it's meth, but it's definitely some yeah. sort of amphetamine. But and whatever man. it is, we gotta get it. <laughs> well, well D- Dallas lives in Oklahoma, so he's definitely a. Uh, he knows a good meth meth head or two. Like, he can sp- he can poke one out. I don't know. I, I don't mean, know how to say what I'm saying. A meth kind of sewer, maybe. <laughs> hey, uh, oh, oh, the possibility. Actually, ended. A car chase ended next door to my house the other. Speaking of meth heads. It ended next door to my house the other day. Like our house, my house was on the news and everything. Our van was on the news, and I sent the link to the dudes. And Ryan was like, "Clean the van, clean the van." <laughs> True, maintenance is very. What was important. the circumstances of the uh, high speed chase? Um, I don't know. It, it was it was a a gentleman and his lady. Um, the police requested that they pull over and they did not oblige and drove around the city for a while. And then he just bailed out like down the street and ran into my neighbor's uh, shed and hit wow. him. Oh, and, wow. And I'm like sitting here, like right where I'm at right now. And I see two cops run by the front of my house. And I'm like, what in the hell is going Hello. on? Hello. <laughs> so, it was, it was exciting. Hide your kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Basically. So did you clean the van? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I did actually, Dallas. There was, there was, we also had an ice storm that I survived. Uh, but but there was a pile of leaves on top of the van from that ice storm that I went out and broomed off for running. Prove it. Like <laughs> yeah. Can we get a little bit of a yeah. confirmation? Yeah. On that? <laughs> Man, some pictures. So, uh, oh, I forgot what I was gonna ask. Never mind. <laughs> Am I? I thought I was the stoned one. No. <laughs> no, it's too early in the day for that. I I just need some more more coffee in my in my face. Coffee in my face. Hey, so, so were you guys um, just ecstatic as can be when you heard Fremont Casino? On that record, oh yeah, my god, I was, just, dude. I was just about to say, uh, I was so excited that you guys included that on the record. Had to, I'm so into it. I also, I, rem- I remember on the tour we did, 
that there was discussion about trying to put verses to that song. Did yeah, you ever okay. go for it or did you try it and, and decide not to? Or did you just- I wrote a pretty goofy verse as a joke and uh, I didn't even get a laugh out of it. Uh, so I, <laughs> I think maybe that's what led me to, towards the whole like, eh, the course is good. Just, just leave it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it works. It works. It Wait, how did that? Can you tell everyone how the song came about to begin with? I don't remember. Kid actually, rock. somebody somebody asked me the uh, other day. Kid Rock. Sorry. I was just gonna say I do know there was a specific moment when we were jamming it in the green room, the throne fucking shits and giggles, and John pokes his head in and says, "You have to put that on, on the new record." And in that moment, we knew that song was going on the new record. <laughs> <laughs> so John is responsible for that largely funny i get a, a producer credit right no you know what's actually, no. you know actually, <laughs> you know actually pretty funny and like just a pure coincidence is fremont casino across so punk rock bowling there's like the gold nugget where everyone kind of parties at the bar downstairs <clears throat> after all the shows across from that on fremont is the actual fremont hotel and the buffet in the Fremont Hotel is called Paradise Buffet. That's the odds. I think wait, not. Is, so is that where you got it, the name for the record? Wait, is, I don't. It is now. Is it, is it a hotel? <laughs> yeah. Is That's Fremont a hotel story. or is it just a casino? <laughs> no, it's a hotel casino. And the buffet I didn't know it was a hotel. A, we got to stay there room. one day. Yeah, you can stay the there right now. I bet they're open. <laughs> Well, well, it's no sh- actually, no shit, Derek. Uh, the suites are actually very cheap right now. <laughs> I've been checking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go stay at Circa next year when the when the vaccines start popping up. Mm-hmm. We're partying. Oh yeah, man, it's a it's a crazy thing to me to think that like buffets probably won't be a thing anymore, right? Like like yeah. like every Golden Corral across the country is just. Are you kidding? Close, right? Have you been to America? It bu- yeah. It's going to be Buffet City after this shit. CC's yeah, pizza stock so? is going to go up. <laughs> I think some people will only <laughs> yeah. get vaccinated yeah, yeah, so they probably. can go to the buffet again. Really? And yeah, I honestly true. don't believe that buffets ever stopped happening. It's like prohibition. They went underground. <laughs> <laughs> the underground yeah. buffet. Like get buffet. your wings, get your shrimp. That's just potluck. Yeah. The bootleg potluck yeah. Is underground buffet. Yeah, true. Yeah. True. Wouldn't it be funny though? You gotta be like, you have to knock on a door and be like New like, England like, clam chowder. Yeah. <laughs> the red or the white. The red or the white. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go in and it's like a speakeasy, it's all candlelit, and there's like pizza with dividers and like you yeah. <laughs> like you look but slightly. It's, <laughs> but it's still all sloppy as shit and built shit is built into other shit and it's still a mess. But <laughs> you know, the, I've been to some gross CCs, but I've been to some really good ones too. I love CCs too. Yeah. Love CCs. Love it. Mike Kennedy, who Shout produced our CCs. album, loves CCs. <laughs> Are you talking about CC pizza? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's terrible. Man. Yeah. <laughs> that sticks differently, you guys, now. The only thing they have going for them is the mac and cheese pizza. That's decent. Oh, wow. I like oh the spinach. God. I like the spinach I'm, guy. I'm okay. you know? It's worth it. Dude, they, there's very few things more American sounding than mac and cheese pizza. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big Mac. Man. There's a so so. I actually have a fun story. So so we um. Recently, we had uh, moved to Raleigh, North Carolina, which I think I texted you guys about this, but I'm not sure. But because because Misha's getting her MFA over at NC State, and then our neighbor, um, they're from the UK. And uh, they work for Epic Games, and oh, cool. um, they they uh, so we got to talking one day. Uh, we were both outside, and he was like, "Oh, so like, um, what kind of music are you into?" So I started tell him, and he started being. We started this conversation about music, and then he's like, "Yeah, we used to like put like really small shows on uh, uh, back home in the." UK, but like some of my favorite bands, like I love Red City Radio, and I but and we had just gotten off tour with you guys, and then so, so like, and then guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and oh, and then I told him I never wanted to talk to him again, and that's the end of the story. <laughs> so no, but then but 
since then, I feel like we have this great friendship that uh, that has been blossoming, and it's all because of you guys. So, thanks for that. Amazing. You're welcome. Well, that's yeah. incredible. Bringing people actually, together. Yeah, I actually ordered. I ordered some of your uh, Sky Tiger masks, which uh, Ryan, I think you sent out to me, and uh, and I gave uh, and I gave them a couple of the Sky Tiger masks also. So we kind of have a small gang now too. Nice, nice. <clears throat> Isn't it crazy how like that's almost like a bat signal, like that type of shit that like. You know, Red City Radio, you see someone, you know, you find someone that's into minor threat or something, something like that, that you wouldn't know that they were. It's like a, it's like a bat signal for friendship in, yeah. or like, you know, yeah. that came from, came from the or same like, place. You know what I mean? So you, you identify. Yeah. You like see the band's logo from across the way and you just know you're like, oh man, there goes my people right there. Yeah. Yeah. That dude's cool. <laughs> Shit, yeah, yeah. Red City Ready's rolling up. Hide your weed. Hide your chain. <laughs> <laughs> it's Debo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, lock the green room. They're fucking coming in to charge their phone and fucking take our beers and shit. <laughs> you better not have no Modellos around. They gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It is real, how, how does that how does that dude like how long has he lived in how here and well in in the u.s um i like think they've been out well they were living in san francisco and okay. then and then she had gotten a job with epic games so then they moved and they um and he was actually working for twitter at at first but now he's over at epic games also and then but he was saying like he would send me texts like when something bonkers would happen in the news and he'd be like, so uh, what's going on? And then I'd just go off <laughs> on, a, on a rant like nobody's in fucking charge. This is the worst, bah! you know? Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, but it's definitely if you're from, I think, another country and living in America, this is probably one of the strangest times to be living in America. Yeah. If you're from another place. Yeah. Definitely Even in, from in our lifetime. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely unprecedented. The American dream sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no such thing anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but so what are your guys' plans? Like, what do you have planned? Like, not for the rest of the day, but I mean, I'm saying, because you guys <laughs> had the new record that came out just on Friday. So, like, I would assume it's just like us. You're just kind of waiting for things to get rolling again you know i think that it's uh it's important to to take advantage of the the time that we have with our families and time that we have to learn new things and to learn new tricks and when it's the time is right and appropriate and safe we're gonna come out there and show you how bad we are at this stuff <laughs> <laughs> it's average is right off <laughs> yeah, but you know it's okay to be bad at stuff but learning new things is the important part right <laughs> there's it's it's funny we were saying we were just saying the exact same thing to one another just last week how we can't wait till it's all <laughs> safe so we can get out there and show people all the new tricks we've learned since we've mm -hmm. uh since yeah. we've been staying home all the time yeah, yeah, no yeah. yeah. it's exciting and we'll we'll have and <laughs> tell people how to make up soup I got this good soup recipe. It's like, yo, have you tried this sourdough, son? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you gotta see this. <laughs> yeah, I was making these energy balls with dates and coconut. They're really to die for. A little almond butter in there. <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna love them. <laughs> you'll Ooh. love them. You'll love them. Oh, you want no, to play to... music? Oh no, we don't do that anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just, just get on stage and cook things. They have shitty yeah. chefs. You didn't make a cook. And just call it Red City Recipe. Oh, Ooh, that's a good idea. Oh. Shit, well, we got to gotta write. We got to get that written down before this, like, you yeah. know. <laughs> goes viral. <Yeah. laughs> no, what's actually great is, is guys, Sean, Mark, and John, we need to 
really fast, put together a Red City recipe book and put it out first. Yeah. 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 But then, but then we're going to release our book called Talking About Sundays. And it's all about Sundays. <laughs> and <different> Sundays. <laughs> oh, ice cream sells, man. That's a hit. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone loves ice cream. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> true, true. True. Some people even back. scream for it. Oh, I've heard that. <laughs> oh. Ice cream, you scream. Like you've actually heard people screaming for ice cream? Oh, yeah. I do. Those, kids, those kids that run out screaming at trucks all the time. <laughs> yeah. Could you, yeah could you ever seen a grown like, man? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that should be our, that we should all start doing that. Just next time we see ice cream, everyone screams at it. <laughs> you know, you know, the town that Sean and I live in, there's no ice cream man because there was a like it, it happened right as I moved here. Like there was a huge <laughs> drug ring within like the ice cream man circuit I mean, in Palm Beach and, and they just they ended it it's, it's too bad you never, there were too many men running and screaming for ice cream I crystal and the crackheads were too yeah. hey, 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 ice cream. hey ice cream <laughs> a lot of interesting like traffic yeah. that like sounds like oh, a man. lucrative like a lucrative oh. business model though because you can get like a rocket pop a nickel bag yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's all good stuff. Man, you guys remember Bubble O Bill? No. Mm-hmm. no. He was like a ice cream, uh, ice cream like, with gum on it, right? Like yeah, yeah, he was a cowboy. From, from Silence of the Lambs? No, no yes, close. <laughs> Bubble O. I think they named it after Bubble O Bill. He had a he had a bubblegum nose. He was a cowboy. Uh, how big of a scoop do you do? <laughs> how big of a scoop is it? Fair <laughs> person. <laughs> There's a, there's, a, there's a great big ice cream sandwich. It puts the whipped cream on the ice cream. <laughs> yeah, we just watched that the other day. And it was, holds up. Sounds yeah. like Yeah, Yeah, it's been a while. But man, scared the pants off me. Yeah, it's, it's a terrifying <laughs> movie. Literally? Yeah. Yes, that's why he's te- that's why he's chest up right now, so you don't see him pantless. Yeah. <laughs> Still scared. That, uh, that <laughs> sounds like a sexy movie to me. <laughs> yes, nude from the waist down. <laughs> Who bearing the pants hard. off him and all the pants left his house. <laughs> he has no more pants. <laughs> Sucks. Where What's have all do? of Sean's pants gone? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you guys have to like answer a question from like a fan? We could, we could do fan, that. Fan mail, the fan mail segment. Yeah, let's do the fan mail segment. I think it's fun too because you guys can contribute because this is this is universal. Oh, so yeah. and you and you and you guys could, could talk about who they mentioned too. So this mm-hmm. is from Ashley C, a fellow Long Islander. She says, "Hi guys, who is the most <laughs> famous person that's ever been to one of your shows that you know of?" I know Seth Rollins flipped a coin at one of your shows last year. That was really cool. That or who is the most famous person you all have met? Missing missing seeing you guys live, especially missing the holiday show that I look forward to every year. I love you guys. Thank you for doing the podcast. It makes this time we are going through suck a little less. Sincerely, Ashley. Thank you, Ashley. Nice. Ashley. <laughs> who, who's up first? Who wants to take this? Who's got the most famous person? Who thinks they got the most famous? At, I got a good one at a show at, that came to a show. What you got? Tom Petty. Tom Petty came to a show. What? Really? That wins. That yeah. wins. I don't even yeah. know what anyone else yeah. has got. That wins. All right. Well, then I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to leave that. <laughs> <laughs> no, Did so you? we were playing a show in Malibu, and his son, which we didn't know, was in the band that was opening. And so someone went over to the guest list thing and saw Tom Petty written on the guest list and were like, is that the Tom Petty? And sure enough, it was. He showed up. But our tour manager ruined it because, of course, he asked for a picture, and then everyone asked for a picture, and then he left. <laughs> uh, oh man play it cool it man it. yeah, yeah. You gotta it was, uh, wild. It was, he, he was he was very nice and just quiet it was fine we uh, uh i, I had you in a urinal next to mc hammer once <laughs> he's very Wait, famous really? yeah that's amazing how good would it have been if you like looked over at him and he like looked over at you and just goes stop <laughs> that was it. You're just like waiting for hammer time. He never says it. That's the time it is. Not hammer time. Not hammer time. Hammer time. <laughs> Whispers in your ear. Hammer time. Yeah. 
Or or what if he never stops peeing and you're like, oh my god, and he's like, <laughs> he's too legit to quit. <laughs> and the bladder of a mule or something. <laughs> MC Hammer pisses like a mule. What a bladder on that guy. Holy smokes. Too legit. A lot of people don't Too know legit. that about the hammer. <laughs> no wonder he's no dancing all the time. You gotta pee. <laughs> I gotta go. So we had uh we had Macaulay Culkin at a show. Is that is that our biggest celebrity? He's up there. Yeah. He came yeah. and was, saw your man play? He did. I it, his girlfriend was a fan and I, you could tell he didn't really want to be there like he was doing it for his girlfriend but uh he was he he came backstage and said hi he was nice enough i i, I took a photo with him very yeah. apologetically but he was nice about it <laughs> and you guys had a run in with him as well didn't you we yeah, we saw his show at riot fest the uh um, pizza underground pizza underground yeah it was cool he's he seemed like a nice dude we didn't talk to him uh he got off stage and uh kind of looked looked around and was just like well that was weird <laughs> and we all laughed and i think we were kind of like yeah yeah and uh <laughs> then we then we walked off and that was really that was the end of the transaction one time um years ago years and years and years ago uh Dally and i ran into Vern troyer at a fucking golf a celebrity golf tournament. Yeah. That was wait, pretty wait, funny. Yeah. Was just what were you doing at a celebrity golf player. tournament? Not a urinal, but a, like a porta potty. Someone just like propped him up there and left him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Like Tito Ortiz was there. I remember that shit. Those he's got our... a very big head, I've heard. Yeah, it was crazy. He's a, he's we... a councilman in, in Huntington Beach now. Okay. Yeah. For saw... some Did reason. You guys... That's what we all Did should guys... do. Did you guys participate? Yeah. Wait, what? Did you did you guys participate in the golf tournament? No, I was drunk. I was like a <laughs> nineteen year old kid or some shit. Oh. Yeah, we mm-hmm. we kind of just crashed it, honestly. So it was uh, <laughs> it was the first tour we'd ever been on, and we uh, we were we had to <laughs> damn. Is that right? <laughs> and, and, uh, the uh, the company that I worked for. Uh, was a sponsor of this golf tournament. It was a Ryan Sheckler celebrity golf tournament. And so we just showed up and they let us in because I was associated with the company. And then we stole a golf cart and drank free PBR, drove around the golf course all day. I talked through everybody's backswing. I mean, I just <laughs> got yelled at. You got I yelled at. Did, yeah, I got yelled at. And the guy was like, oh, I'm sorry. It's cool. It's, I'm just, it's, I'm hot. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm like, I don't give a shit about your golf swing. I don't give a shit about golf. I don't give a shit about you. I don't give a shit about your shoes. <laughs> you know, now that I'm now that I'm a grown up, I understand how that's a little disrespectful, but I still don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't give a fuck about your shoes or your swing or whatever. And that's but, growth. You know, Recognizing that's growth. it as growth. Well, it's yeah, important. you know, like this is a place I shouldn't be. Actually, I do. I would like to go golfing one day because it's like a beautiful thing, right? Like. It's all you know, like in the morning and like the the grass, like that sounds like a beautiful thing. I'm kind of on the George Carlin side of things when it's like I think that's where homeless people should live, though. Sure, just give oh, it yeah. up, just give homeless people golf courses. <laughs> you know, man, I was. It's funny you mentioned George Car, Car, Carlin. Like I went on this like YouTube wormhole of his the other night, and I and I was thinking how incredible it would be to still have him in the world doing his thing like right now, like just with everything right. that's going on. I would love to hear that guy's take on things. Me too. Curi- curious on that one. Yeah. Because there's a lot of like, there's a lot of right wing people that kind of like can, can hug on to some of his messages and same with the other, the other side, I'm sure of the political spectrum in America, you know? Yeah. But who knows? He was getting pretty old. Yeah, true. He, he was always right on, though. Like everything he said, it was, it was right on. You know, I won't, I won't agree yeah. to that because I don't remember everything that he said. <laughs> but uh, I used to cream for ice cream. <laughs> but I used to have his CDs and stuff for sure, and I definitely did shed a tear when he died. I do remember that. Oh, and by the way, to answer your question, nobody famous likes our band. In fact, we're actually curious why anybody likes our band. (laughs) (laughs) 
Ashley, Ashley is the most famous person that likes our band. <laughs> yeah. Even, have we even had anyone like semi-famous at any of our shows? Um, I mean, other sure. other musicians. One time, Take It Back Sunday came and saw us. Yeah, we did. We had a couple of them. <laughs> or like a whole tour. Right. <laughs> well, um, uh, Small Hands, our buddy Aaron. He's a oh, he's okay. a porn star. His and his uh, wife Jonah is a porn star. There. They're, they're Does famous. he have Small Hands? Like, he was in your video, right? Very, very small. Yeah. For baby of the year. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That is, yeah. yeah. On YouTube. Actually, now that I remember, <laughs> I think like in 2012, before I was in Red City, I played in a band called Nothington. And we were on tour at the Cobra Skulls in Atlanta. And Andre 3000 popped in the show. That's awesome. We were, oh, yeah. We were like, oh, that's right. Like, what the fuck are you doing here? And he was like, yo, he's like, I'm just in town for like seven, seven days, whatever. And like, I know Fat Records is just kind of like a punk, like label thing. And I thought it was a Fat Records show. And I just want to pop in and kind of check out the, the show and the energy. And we're just like, that's really fucking cool. Unbelievable. Nice. Nice. Yeah, he's like, no pictures, no nothing. And then some person tried to like sniper a photo while he was talking to like some of the other band members. And he's like, all right, I'm out of here. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I'm too famous. For- <laughs> like, oh, that, Andre- that reminds me of Randy Johnson. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, Randy Johnson, like the pitcher. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah he's the pigeon killer. Yeah. Yep. The bird the guy. pigeon with fastball. Yeah. So funny. Man, I have a Randy Johnson story too, because <laughs> turns out my Was that your my bird friend, that he my killed? good friend. What? Was that your bird that he killed? <laughs> yeah. No, it was my bird. It was my bird. No. So a good friend of mine. That's his uncle. So he used to come to shows all the time. Yeah. <laughs> he is a huge oh, rock fan. He's good friends with the Coheed yeah. and Cambria guys. So we, we hung out after a show and uh, a friend tried to snipe a picture and he was not happy. Oh, yeah. So, not yeah he, happy. He, always goes out. He, he was touring with, uh, what, Nine Inch Nails and Soundgarden. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. He's got, he's got great stories about all those guys yeah. and like seeing Nirvana yeah. at small clubs back in the day. Yeah, fascinating dude. Yeah, yeah. He is someone that and does not throw a hell of a baseball. Ball. What, Mark? He does not have small hands, Randy Johnson. No, no. I no. shook his hand. I felt like a little baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so when he grabbed our friend Mike's phone from him, the he made the phone look like a peanut <laughs> with his hand. <laughs> And I remember, anyone like, like a peanut? It, like looking at his hand, I didn't he, want peanut. <laughs> it looked like he was gonna crush the phone. I just remember looking at Mike, being like, "What did you do? What <laughs> did you do?" So wait, he took your friend's phone for taking yeah. pictures. Oh yeah, man, like, that's a boss you, move. We were told specifically, like he he doesn't like certain things, so don't do that. So <laughs> yeah. Um, but he basically uh, said he's like he like said, "Hey man, kid. if you want to take a picture." Just ask me, talk to me. Don't don't snap pictures when I'm sitting here talking to some people, you know. Right. Which is, which is yeah. totally which got, come on is totally understandable. Yeah, yeah. he yeah. was 100 percent right. Come on, fair. That's fucking okay. weird. Like, yeah. can you imagine yeah. if you were just doing that to strangers on the street? Like, that'd be irritating. <laughs> like an yeah. animal at the zoo or something. Yeah, right. Sometimes well, I look at the zoo and I'm like, who's in the real zoo? <laughs> yeah. Is it us? <laughs> I feel like I'm in a cage, man. <laughs> Oh, that's so meta, bro. Uh, <laughs> uh, He's really in the cage. Uh. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I've never seen Yeah, just ask me to take a photo with you, and I'll small. say no to your face. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And headbutt you. Right. Yeah, he was cool as hell, and he's a great rock and roll photographer, too, now. Yeah. 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 Cool. I don't know why this came to mind, but... I just felt like I needed to tell the story. One time uh, we played Chicago at, at Reggie's Rock Club was strung out and they had some fans come out that were so annoying that they went and hit on their fucking bus thing that they were driving around and their fucking dumbass fan guy uh, ate half of my sandwich from the refrigerator. That's not cool. And I've yet to let it go. And I, I am now here to like, I'm not mad at strung out. I'm mad at this guy. So if you're watching this guy from Chicago, <laughs> fuck you. And I, I feel better. I feel better about chatter. it. <laughs> but it was so funny. He was like, yeah, you can hang on the backstage. And they're like, oh, this guy's too much. I got to go. And then we're like, we're just like stuck down there with the, like these people. 
And he fucking ate my sandwich while we were playing, man. Is there no security? What in the kind world? of sandwich was yeah, it? Great a jerk. You know what? You know what? God damn it, Derek. It was a turkey and <laughs> turkey cheese guys, lettuce guys. tomato sandwich. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter what kind of sandwich it was. It's that the principle. True. It's the mm-hmm. it's the principle. I mean, if it was peanut butter and jelly, don't eat another band sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I have yet to let that go. Oh, well, I'd, I'd just let it go. Clearly, I feel good. Clearly. I feel good about it. I'm glad you had this time to talk. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> process that experience. My goddamn sandwich, man! You know, every time I eat a sandwich, I think about all the ones that I didn't get to eat. You know, <laughs> the one that got away. Yeah, that's why. That's why uh, Warren, like Warren Zevon said, man, you got to enjoy every sandwich. <laughs> good times. I think that's a good note to. Uh... I mean, I think that's a good thing to leave everybody with, you know? Yeah, Words of wisdom. Words of wisdom. Yeah, man. Yeah. Thank you guys for doing this. Is there anything else you guys want to want to chat about? Anything else you want to want to promote? Socials, anything? Uh, We have the album Paradise, right? We have the new album Paradise that just came out on Pure Noise Records. It's super fucking dope. You can uh, purchase it where music is purchased, and you can stream it where music is streamed. Uh, uh, yeah, Dallas started an OnlyFans. Ryan is also yeah, starting nice. OnlyFans, and Derek is also starting an OnlyFans. <laughs> I'm signing up. And Garrett is also starting an OnlyFans. <laughs> and Garrett is also starting an OnlyFans. Um, I'm I'm going to be broadcasting on YouTube and Twitch, Garrett Dale, Garrett Dale RCR, and I'm also going to be drinking 20 beers. Nice. Just, just off, for, off and for, on, for baby. Precisely. Mm-hmm. Also, uh, it goes without saying, but I love Taking Back Sunday, and thank you for asking us to be yeah. on here. Uh, yeah. It was a yeah. wonderful yeah. time touring with that. you, and uh, hopefully we can do it again. We can party again, and uh, I, I love you. Thank you. We love you guys, hey. and thank you so yeah. much for doing it with us, too. This was super-duper fun and uh, made my day. So thank you guys, and Paradise is fantastic. I'm going to put it on as soon as we hang up. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys. Talking Back Sunday, uh, you can send any questions to t- takingbacksundaypod at gmail.com, and we'll see you next week. Thank you, guys. Thank bye you. Guys. Bye. bye, fellas. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-b